Hi guys, my name is Rachel. If you're new here, so happy to have you here. <clears throat> What's going on with my voice? <laughs> ah! So I just finished work for the day and today I'm going to show you what my after work evening routine is on a normal weekday. In case you are new here, I live in San Francisco, but I currently work remote. I have been working remote since March of 2020. So I work permanently at my home office. I just completed all my work tasks for today. It is currently 10 after five. So I'm going to shut my laptop and then I will clear my workspace and carry on with my evening routine. I'm gonna quickly clean my desk, so cue the cleaning montage. We're twins. <laughs> so because I work from home, I don't really get a lot of exercise unless I like purposely fit exercise into my day. Sometimes it doesn't happen until after work, which I hate. So much easier to work out before the end of the day than after, but sometimes it just happens like that. I recently just bought this treadmill on Amazon. It is a under the desk portable treadmill. So I put it under my counter so that I can watch my YouTube videos from today and get some steps in while I'm at it. So I'll probably do this for about 30 minutes and get some exercise in. So I'm gonna change into my tennis shoes. I'm going to put my hair up and we'll get to it. All right, walk is done. I only walk for about 35 minutes, but at least I have over 5,000 steps for today. I know that's still not a lot, but you know what? It's better than nothing and I feel better now. But since I was tired after my walk, I just lounged for the last hour, just scrolling on my phone. I'm thinking about setting a step goal in January. I might start slow, but try to work up to 10,000 steps. I feel like if I walk in the morning and after work for like 30 minutes each, it should be pretty easy to get 10,000. But that's still a lot to fit into a busy schedule, especially before and after work. We'll see. Anyways, now it's a little after seven, so it's dinner time. And I just wanna shout out my fiance real quick because I was supposed to make dinner tonight and I was feeling stressed because I actually, I was making this crock pot meal, but I didn't prep anything today. And I had some work to do today. I filmed a video during lunch. And so he offered to make it for me. So I'm so thankful for that, but it's ready now. It has been slow cooking all day. I found this soup recipe on Pinterest. It's like this sweet potato stew with like beef and sweet potato and carrots and corn. So I'm hoping it's good. Here it is. I'm going to link the Pinterest recipe down below. Jonathan just tried it and he said it is really good. So I'm super excited for this. All right, I'm going to give it a try. Here it is. It's very hot. That is super good. Has really good flavor. Like I think that it's the tomato that makes it really good. The diced tomato. Yeah. But this is so perfect for like the colder weather because it's so warm and hearty. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot of vegetables in it, which is good because we're working on our wedding bots. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, we should definitely make this again. I'll help you make it again. Yay! <laughs> so now we are watching Black Widow. We started watching all of the Marvel films about a month ago. I've never seen any of the Marvel films. I didn't really think superhero movies were my thing, but we started watching it from the start. Now I'm super into it. <laughs> So we stopped the movie a little bit early before it ended. I think there's like an hour left. The Marvel movies are pretty long, so we watch them in chunks every night for about like one hour. But we stopped it because there's a lot more to do tonight and I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> I have my tea here. This is the Tiavana apple cinnamon tea. It's very good. I really like the Tiavana teas that you can buy at Target. So I'm going to wrap a few Christmas presents and I'm hoping to kind of show the wrapping process because it doesn't really matter if people see these presents because I'm 
going to be giving them to them by the time this video goes up. So I'm going to use this wrapping paper that I got from Hearth and Hand a couple years ago. So like I said in my previous video, I'm a huge fan of the after Christmas clearance. So usually I will find the nice wrapping paper when it's on sale. That's how I got these bows and ribbons too. Um, these bows are like always on sale after Christmas. So I always stock up before so I can get it cheaper. So both Jonathan and I's birthdays are in January. So what we typically do for Christmas is we give each other an ornament. We fill each other's stockings with just like little stuff. And then we usually give each other one Christmas present. And that Christmas present is usually like a bigger present. And then when it comes to our birthday, that's when we usually give our smaller presents. So we just give like a lot of smaller gifts. Well, this year Jonathan said he has a few smaller gifts for Christmas too. So I was going to save these for his birthday, but I'm actually just going to give it to him during Christmas <laughs> because why not? I'm sure I'll have more presents ideas um, come January. Because especially for this one, this one's more of a roast gift. It is this O'Keefe's hand cream, foot cream, and skin repair. I'm giving this to him because his hands are always so dry and his feet are always so dry. So I'm giving that to him. And then I also got this little bidet that you can put on like a normal toilet. I just thought it was like fancy and something that he would like. And he always jokes that like someday he wants a butler. So I got him a butler. <laughs> so I'm not gonna share any spoilers of Marvel movies, but I did wanna talk about Marvel because I've been very into that recently. I feel like I'm just like way, way behind <laughs> on the bandwagon. Like that's like old news. But for some reason, I just like really didn't think I was into superhero movies. I found them predictable. I'm not really into like the battle scenes or like the fight scenes. I just like, I'm just not really into that. But because the Marvel universe is just like, it's all connected. That's what I find is like really entertaining and really fun. So I have been really enjoying watching the Marvel movies. I would say Black Widow is my favorite superhero and her and um, Hawkeye are like the only ones that, well, I guess they have technology on their side a little bit. So like a lot of other superheroes do too, but they're the only ones that like really don't have a superpower, like especially Black Widow. She just has her like assassin skills, which is kind of crazy how she's like a superhero, but she doesn't actually have any superpowers. That just like shows just like how awesome she is. <laughs> We're watching Black Widow right now, and this is not a spoiler because her whole storyline is just so sad, but that movie really is just sad. It's just like her backstory is I think the most sad and most real, I would say, out of most of the superheroes. Like it's super adult and like really scary, kind of like the, just like the concept of it. And just like how she really like didn't even have a childhood. It's just scary. I have a question for anyone that has watched all the Marvel movies on Disney Plus. There's one that is not on Disney Plus. That is the Spider-Man one. How do you watch that? Do you have to buy it individually and like just rent it? Because it's not on Disney Plus. It's not like on any other rental platform. So I guess we just have to rent it independently, which is kind of a bummer because I mean, we want to watch it obviously. When it comes to wrapping paper, you know how there's like all the squares on the back of paper now? That is so genius. <laughs> it makes it so much easier to figure out like how much wrapping paper to cut. I feel like when I was little, it, this wasn't the case. So it's like pretty revolutionary. I love it. If you care to make your Christmas presents look nice, I highly recommend actually using the purple tape from Scotch, the gift wrap satin finish tape, because this tape just makes your presents look so much better. And like, it makes it so that you can't see the tape. I feel like the tape is so distracting, like the normal green tape. And so if you just want to like instantly make your wrapping paper skills look a lot more impressive, I highly recommend getting the purple tape. I feel like it's a lot more difficult to talk while you're wrapping than I expected. I'm like trying to focus here. One of these years, I would love to get really into wrapping paper and have like a whole theme, but this year's just not really the year. Maybe it's because I know that I'm moving in less than a year, but it's just not really the vibe this year. Nice and simple.
I'm so tired already tonight. It's not even 10 p.m. I'm gonna take off my makeup, brush my teeth, put my retainers in, and get comfy. And then once I'm in bed, I usually will read. And reading before bed has not only helped me read a lot more, it has helped me fall asleep so much easier. So if you have a hard time falling asleep, even if you're tired, I highly recommend starting to read before bed. Or if you want to just try to read more. <laughs> I've read so many more books since reading right before bed. But I did wanna share the book that I'm currently reading. It is called So Good They Can't Ignore You. And Jonathan actually gave me this book. I'm not that far into it, so I'll probably share more once I finish it. But basically this book is about how, like you should follow your passion to find a job. It takes like a lot of hard work to hone your craft to love your job. And it kind of breaks the stereotype of like, just follow your passion, like follow your heart. Everything will be okay. I feel like it's super applicable right now because I feel like it's so easy to feel like, oh, I'm not fulfilled in my job. But what does it mean to be really fulfilled with your job and kind of shifting the focus to really pay attention to what you can provide to the world versus like what the world can provide to you. Not only gives you a lot more satisfaction in your career, but it also helps you become successful and it helps you actually love your job more than like just following your passion. So it's actually really interesting and really good. Jonathan said it really changed the way he thought about things. So I am looking forward to continuing to read this. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed. I hope that you enjoyed this evening routine after work and I hope you have a great rest of your day If you like this video, please like it before you leave subscribe to my channel before you leave I would greatly appreciate it and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye